Suzuki GSX-S1000 GT, 2022 on, review. Best Suzuki for years. You could say the new Suzuki GSX-S1000 GT is simply a collection of parts pinched from other models. That's partly true, but they've taken simple idea and executed it so brilliantly, it has the makings of an instant classic. It's an honest-to-goodness road bike-shaped sports tourer, with styling that finally moves the game on for them, even if its looks are greatest hits of well, you decide. Unlike the adventure bikes and tall rotors that have taken the place of sports tourers in recent years, the GSX-S1000 GT doesn't have dual-purpose tires, dirt bike wheels or long travel suspension. The Suzuki is for smiley Sunday morning tarmac and big road trips, just like the Kawasaki Ninja 1000 SX it's gunning for. We could just be seeing the return of the sports tourer here and that'll be music to the ears of many. Ride quality and brakes. The GSX-S1000 GT uses the same basic chassis layout as the current GSX-S1000 and the version before, including the F-The Twin Sparali frame, with a new subframe and pannier mounts and swing arm, fully adjustable KYB forks, Brembos and a basic rear shock with preload and rebound damping adjustment. Suzuki sports bikes always handle sweetly and the GT is no exception. It's stable, unflappable at full lean and lives for fast day road and motorway curves. Engine. It goes to show how right Suzuki got the K5 engine in 2005 years ago, because it's still a cracker in 2021 and suits life in the GT perfectly. It's also the same motor that powers the 2021 Euro 5 updated GSX S1000, complete with its smoother power curve and meteor mid-range. Better still, Suzuki have finally got rid of the on-off jerkiness it's the ride-by-wire throttle, even in the most direct of its three power maps. Bravo! The bomb-proof 999 cubic centimeters inline Ford makes 150 brake horsepower, which means it's blisteringly fast when you rev it hard and is accompanied by a naughty naughty superbike snarl from its neat, stubby pipe. Reliability and Build Quality The GSX-S1000 GT's build quality and attention to detail are excellent, as new. MCN's online owner's reviews for the GSX-S1000 and GSX-S1000F models, the same basic bike as the GT, are gushing with nothing but nice things to say about reliability, but they report paint can be thin in places and you'll need to keep an eye on the fasteners in the winter. Value versus Rivals The GT's main rival is the Ninja 1000SX and on paper they're close. The Kawasaki's 1,043 cubic centimeters, 140 brake horsepower inline 4 has slightly less power and it's 9 kilograms heavier but has 4 LBFT more torque, the same electronic spec and undercuts the Suzuki by 200 pounds in its base color scheme. Unlike the GT the Ninja 1000SX has an IMU for cornering traction control slash ABS, a remote rear preload adjuster and height adjustable screen. Equipment it doesn't come with every bell, whistle and designer chassis label, but for the price the GSX-S1000 GT is well equipped with rider aids, cruise control, KYB forks, Brembos and Suzuki's best dash yet. Its 6.5 inches color TFT displays 21 pieces of information, plus setup menus and SAT and AV graphics, shown via Suzuki's MySpin app. Power maps, TC level, cruise control and dash functions are all controlled via the switchgear block, but buttons are small and tricky to operate with thick gloves. A full range of accessories are available, including panniers, which will be the most popular option.